shuffle back and pick up a load of corn. Go shuffle a little corn. All right. Okay. He's already hot. I see sweat coming out. Yeah, there. it is. I'm sweating like a, a turkey on Thanksgiving. The time span goes back like 12, 14 years. It goes pretty good while. Wow. Got a long time. Here's my story about this. I first met you, Lewis, at Rudy's Auction Bar and Jam about 12 years ago. Yeah, they were trying to auction me off. They were. He yeah. <laughs> went for 250 <laughs> I heard a special sound coming from your banjo that I had never heard before. It was a warm, sweet kind of rolling sound that you were doing that caught my attention. From there, I was fascinated by who you were as a person. You always had a smile on your face and never lacked a dull moment of cracking a joke or punching or kicking another musician. <laughs> And if you remember, you were one of the first to play my first song that I had written. Huh. Don't ever leave me, yep. little darling. What about that? <laughs> what about that? The first time I saw you on the stage was uh, at the Anderson Recreation Center. And you guys put on a great show, and because of the show you folks did, I felt the urge that I wanted to perform a band. So you were really a part of forming my life around bluegrass music. It's, you know, I really didn't know that, sir. You, you did. And you also played licks out here for a lot of these folks to learn from. And I've seen you in the audience sharing your many years of experience with a newly banjo player. And your love for the music and the people is the first thing that made me hang to you and your personality. And then the big experience at the pick and pop. The people that, in your, their lives, you've made a difference. And today I believe we are, have all the music around us that we love simply because you stayed the course. We love that stuff, don't we? And you kept playing the music that you love. Yeah. From there, many, many musicians today are in existence because of you and your influence. You know, you know like uh, Al Gore, you know, wants to uh, clean the air. You play bluegrass music, it'll clean it. Oh, boy. I love that. Now, that's a great thought. But anyhow, getting serious, Lewis, i just like to say we love you. And we wish you Godspeed in the days ahead. And most of all, I will always remember you for the positive effect that you had on my life and the music I love and do about every day of my life. So keep playing your banjo, Lewis. I would never get tired of listening to you, even if you play out of tune. I've been knowing Lewis and his kids since I was about this big. Well, of course, I wasn't about that big either. I'm a lot younger than I look tonight. I've been rode hard and put up wet. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to let y'all go on with the festivities, and we do love you, Lewis, even if you did run off with old Janine. <laughs> 